All right, today we will be disassembling an Asus Republica Gamers GL553V uh, gaming laptop. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and flip it over and remove the bottom case screws. And I'll be using a 2.5 uh, Phillips head bit. All right, so once you have the uh, perimeter screws out, uh, Asus has hidden another one right here in the middle behind the little sticky cover. So just remove that and then remove the last Phillips head screw. All right, now we will uh, go ahead and separate the bottom cover from the palm rest, just get a little flat edge and go in the little seam there. And then we can pop up the bottom cover from the rest of the laptop. All right, so the first thing we'll do is go ahead and disconnect the battery. So this little battery connector, just grab it with your fingernails and pull it out and the battery will come out. The part of the case screws were also holding the battery, so once you get that connector out, you can just pull the battery out. Then we can do the Wi-Fi card. So just pull up on the antennas and they should just pop right off. And we'll remove the screw. And the Wi-Fi card. Memory, we'll just go ahead and spread those little retainer bars and remove the memory stick. And then the hard drive caddy, looks like four screws. Looks like somebody already tried to remove the hard drive and stripped out that screw. So uh, let me go ahead and remove that and we will return to disassembling the laptop. All right, so we removed the stripped out screw. So now once we have all of the screws out, we can just slide the hard drive um, laterally and then you can remove it from the laptop. And there's two screws each side to remove the hard drive. All right, next up we can go ahead and remove this in-out board. So just flip up on the little connector, release the ribbon. And we'll pull the ribbon from the tape and go ahead and remove the screw. And we can go ahead and also remove the optical drive. Looks like just two screws, and then we have to undo the little bit of tape there, and we can just push it straight out out of the little connector and remove it from the laptop. All right, uh, we can do the cooling fan for the CPU. Use your fingernails, pull that connector up, and then we'll remove the screws for the fan. All right, so now we'll go ahead and remove the DC jack. So just pop up that DC jack and use your fingernails to pull the connector out. 
moves the DC jack. Alright, so now we can go ahead and remove the heatsink assembly. Um, looks like about eight screws. It does not matter which uh, order you take them off, but it does matter which one, uh, which order you put them on. All right, once you have the heat sink screws out, we'll give the heat sink a little bit of a wiggle, free it from that thermal paste, and then we can remove the heat sink. All right, now we have the uh, motherboard fully exposed. We can go ahead and start removing the ribbons and cables, and then remove the motherboard. So looks like there's plenty of tape on here over some of these connectors, so we'll have to pull the tape off and then we can undo some of these connectors. All right, so these are the flip up type, so just flip up the little retainer with your fingernail and then you can pull the ribbons out. And once you have all the ribbons, we can go ahead and remove the screws. Looks like we have another stripped one here from somebody previously working on the laptop. So that looks like it's one of the last ones. So I will work on removing that and then we will continue. All right, so we got it loose and we'll just finish removing that screw something that you can sometimes run into working on a laptop that's been pre-owned somebody else might have been in there trying to upgrade um, and if you don't press hard enough on some of these screws when you try to remove them it's just going to strip them so it looks like that was the only screw we had left and now we can remove the motherboard all right looks like we have the cables that go into the display assembly um, pretty much freed up so we can remove the screws for the hinges and then we can separate the display assembly from the palm rest. So go ahead and just remove the five remaining screws for the hinges. And then to swivel the hinges up, um, it really helps to have a small uh, Phillips size bit just to poke through the hole and get it going. Because these are pretty uh, resistant to um, opening and closing without the weight of the lid. So just like that, and then you can swivel those hinges up and we can remove the palm rest from the display assembly. All right, so this is what we have left of the palm rest assembly. Uh, keyboard is riveted in, not removable. And the touchpad, it looks like there's just a few screws to uh, release that touchpad, but we're gonna go ahead and leave them uh, on the palm rest assembly. And we will continue and disassemble the display. All right, so for the display assembly, the first thing we're gonna do is separate the bezel and the back cover. So we wanna go ahead and remove the little covers for the screws for the display assembly. And then remove the screws. And once you have the screws out, um, I believe the bezels on these are also held on by tape. So just get a straight edge and go in between the bezel and back cover, kind of halfway right there on the edge and start separating the two parts. And 
And then once you have it started, then you can just use your fingers to go along the perimeter and pull up the little snaps. And on the bottom there is quite a bit of adhesive so um, when you're pulling up you kind of want to put a finger in there and just keep the adhesive from uh, ripping the rest of the black uh, cover there off of the LCD screen. As long as you take your time and don't rush it, and you should be able to remove the bezel from the display assembly. Alright, so now we will uh, go ahead and remove all the screws for the hinges and the four screws for the LCD. Um, you, you can replace the LCD without having to remove the hinges, uh, but we're just going to take the whole thing apart and uh, we'll just, to start, we'll just go ahead and remove all the screws. All right, now with the screws removed, we can go ahead and remove the hinges with the rails. And then we're gonna go ahead and flip the LCD screen over so that we can get to the connector right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is just pick back a corner. You have to get a pinch on and then pull that little connector or the tape down to the connector and then right here at the very end you want to uh, just make sure that you don't yank on it accidentally when the tape gives. So once you have the tape off then you can pull the video cable out of the LCD and you've removed the LCD. All right, so the video cable is a combo cable with the webcam, so we first need to unplug the video cable from the webcam. And it seems to be um, kind of held down with a lot of little adhesive pieces, so just work your way around and get it out of little grooves and from underneath the uh, silver tape. Alright, so the last thing we're left with is the webcam. We're going to go ahead and leave the Wi-Fi antennas in here, but if you need to remove them, uh, they're also just held on by adhesive, and it's the same way to remove them as the video cable. Just feed them along here. Uh, with the webcam, uh, you want to go from either the bottom or the top when you pry up. It's held on by some, usually some pretty decent adhesive, so don't start from either edge or you might uh, break the webcam. So we'll just start at the bottom. And just flip it up and you see how thin it is. So uh, it's really easy to bend it extremely, which will, uh, it's probably not good for the webcam. As long as you go from the bottom to the top, you shouldn't hurt it. Alright, so that is how you disassemble an Asus Republic of Gamers GL553V uh, gaming laptop. If this video helped you out or you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a good day.